What's up, Miss Fire? What you think about this? What you think about the episode? It was, it was a tough subject, but I loved it. I, I enjoyed everybody. You know, I had to say my piece, and it's good therapy. You know, the subject though is dope. How you doing, Miss Sixty Nine? Good. I'm good. Thank you. What you think about the episode? The episode for me was something I didn't really want to write about because the family is not here, and it's a whole lot of has gone things. So I'm like, I can't really write about the family. We're not close. But you know, I just encourage people to keep that close. I think it's great, man. Yeah, I think it causes people to go deep and it makes it kind of go beyond the surface. Yeah, last week was friends and this week was family, so I, I get like where they trying to go with the type of shit. So yeah. It's cool. Yeah. It's a little unique night. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, like the topic of family kind of made it complicated because it not only comes down to like who you biologically related to, but those who you consider close enough to be lost. I mean, you said it's like, is that really real? Is that true? And how to be the best person yourself to just be that for them. Yeah. yeah. I be wondering how they be feeling, like how they feel like what's next. So I'm like, we just did, we did friends, so why not go into family since, you know, it's, it's, it's relative. Right. Uh, so, yeah, we, didn't, we didn't write about friends. That was a topic of conversation. Yeah, so we didn't write about it anyway. What, what did you write about last week? What did you write about last week? Free work. Yeah, it was free work. Oh, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna. I'm talking to y'all for nothing. Man, don't make me feel bad, man. Last week, oh shit, last week was crazy. You missed last week. You missed that shit. That was my type of topic. Last week was crazy as hell. Hey, they came with that fire last week. That was crazy. Hey, you killed that shit. Hey, no, no, you killed last week. Uh, Tisa. Tisa wrote that little pretty ass piece. Boy, I didn't think she was going to. What was Tisa talking about? I don't know. All she said is that she'd be horny and some of the other shit. I don't know. Look, look. The way she put that. The way she put that in word, I was like, I was like, oh, okay, I can't hear the remote. I'm like, I can't get hit these blues. Man. Yeah, it was a little bit exhilarating. No, she said she ain't never wrote a freaky piece before. I'm still trying to, I'm having the towel up here. But Tisa say she ain't never did a freaky piece uh, before. She say whenever it's a freaky topic, she always chooses something different. So I so said we got to go on the files Negative. to see if, you know, she said she ain't never wrote something freaky. Negative. So, so I, hey, I didn't say no. I'm like, you know what? But I'm like, we going to have to see what, because I didn't heard her do freaky pieces All the before. time. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. So, I was saying, hey, that's really slow now. Yeah, that shit was freaky, freaky. Yeah, that was that was definitely two years freaky. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. So man, you came up with this right? Can I say, what was your what was what's going on? Yeah, it was it was cool. Like I said, I thought that it was uh it flowed the topic. Uh, family flowed right from the whole friends. So you know, just you know, it was like right there. You know, and I spent a whole lot of time with family lately, so it was right there. Yeah, you did. Yeah, so before we get into these rules and regulations of the evening, anybody else have anything, anything else to say about this right concept? Fat man? Yeah, look, ooh, it's hard. Okay. You said it was hard? It was kind of hard. Yeah, it was kind of hard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was, was kind of hard. Darren, you got a few pages worth, so. Man, y'all, I got a page. Hope y'all sitting down with that one because this man came in here with, with pages. You said you got one page. <laughs> no, I said that was something I was working on before I got here. I oh. sat and just wrote a page. Yeah. It's, it's quick. It ain't Oh, it's quick. You know, I didn't press myself. I just let it flow. Like I don't, you know, like I say, it's, it's an exercise. Now I got two. I got well, on my mama's side, she got two different sides of family. So you go to family unions, you like the Hillarys and the Shannons. So one side was my thing, my great granddaddy's side, and then my grandma's side. But then it's weird because the Hillarys, the Hillarys live up in, like in the northern states. And then the Shannons is in the southern states. But it's like all the older aunties, whatever, you know, they passing, so nobody's like, I'm like, man, what's the history on us? Because this is definitely interesting to try to figure that out. But, you know, it's like, that's just, yeah, it's, it's, so, it's so weird. I'm like, you know, I'm like, just Shannons. I was like, where you get these last names from? Like, somebody, you got some money somewhere. Hillary's just Shannons. Y'all know who this person y'all last name? Uh, it, it, it was also. 
intriguing to people to see which concepts um, are difficult to people. So to see the guys when it's, it's time to talk about family, you see, you know, like what type of feeling do people get? Is it that they, they don't know where to start at, or is it just that they don't have family? It's kind of like that's that's what I also wonder too when it's time, you know, when you get topics like this. So that's what I'm, what I'm looking forward to hearing with the performances. All right, well, we go ahead to these rules and regulations of the evening. Then we're gonna go ahead and get this show started. Since Darren got the light, I think he loves talking about the blue light. So, hey, okay. stop it. <laughs> oh, okay, well, y'all, we're gonna let Darren introduce the red light to everybody. Go ahead, Darren, with that red light. All right, everybody, this is the red light. The red is for respect, respect the floors, all right? We, if we uh, throw the red light on, that means we're losing the floors too noisy. And, um, you know, the side conversations, of course, they travel in, so let's try to respect the floor. And also, same thing if you go upstairs. You know, just know that, you know, the tr uh, voices travel when we can you down here, so that's the red light. Yep, yeah, and we got the blue light, y'all. The blue light is our running back. If y'all hear something that's cold, y'all want to hear it one more time, just yell out the blue light, and the reader is going to go back and read the line and a half back to which the blue light. Also, if you come up here and you're nervous, and you're reading choppy, or you're reading slow, we're going to hit you with this blue light, because to us, to be nervous, there's no reason to be nervous, because we all on the same level. You got a lot of people here that's been writing since they was in kindergarten. You got a lot of people here that's been performing since they was in kindergarten. But there's nowhere that you really go that you write and perform you just wrote amongst your peers. So that kind of puts us all on the same level. All right, also, uh, you know, we all come from the same family. So you're going to hear some things you like, and you hear some things that you don't like. Oh, well, we're adults, we're all artists here. So respect everybody's art form, what they wrote. Uh, again, I don't feel like nobody ever writes anything too disrespectful. So that being said, I guess we go ahead and get to the first reader of the evening. All right, everybody. Y'all welcome this first time to the Pimp Flow. Welcome up, Nico! Hey. Hey. I'm going to be an actress and it's just amazing to me. My dad, he's my biggest supporter. If I say I want to be a mechanic, he's going to say, okay, I know you can do it. Um, my grandma, she just taught me to lead by example. Like, you have to know that you're always influenced in the youth. My daughter, Anaya, my biggest motivation. My son, Elijah, my biggest inspiration. My brother Damien, my loving brother, and my cousin Marcel. He's just like my best friend. And uh, what else? That's it. That's all I got. Okay. 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 In a uh, story essay type of form on purpose? No. Did you mean to read it differently? No, it's bulletproof. It's, I mean, ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's like that. Well, that's okay. <laughs> it's bullet points. I just put them on. It's in Chicago. Don't shoot it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like how she it. It could be bulletproof too. It's bulletproof. I don't know. Chicago, everything you got gotta be more cool. Yeah. Right. I had no tents on them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Darren, hey, I am Darren. You tell your father you want to become a mechanic just to see what he says. Awesome. Yeah, I tell him I'm going to go. Yes, you know. Any other questions, y'all? Any other no. questions? No? Nope. Alright, y'all give a round of applause. Thank you. 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 Well, Damn. I ain't worried about it. I'm finna come up with a bitch man. It's just gonna shock everybody. Man, child, man, man, bro, I'm finna, my car finna start shooting out pepper spray. I'm taking shit. Can't wait. Alright, this is how a bitch is. So I'm telling y'all, this is how a bitch is.
started? Man. All right, everybody. Put your hands together for Imani C. Imani. Hey y'all, uh, just a quick, just a quick one two, quick one two. So, uh, y'all know we, we, we sweep up, we clean up, and write down everything when we can. But uh, last couple weeks we've been finding some gum on the floor. So for those y'all that's chewing gum, please don't put y'all gum on the floor. Try to put y'all gum in the bag, okay, or something like that. Appreciate it. Thank you. How y'all doing tonight? Good. 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 This is my first time actually performing at Pet Flow, but I love Pet Flow. Pet Flow. So shout out to me and y'all. Y'all my crowd tonight. Y'all are wonderful. So family, I got a great family, a grand family. I won't lie. But sometimes I'm the youngest sibling, so they want me to live through them sometimes, and I'm me. So family expectations. F-A-M-I-L-Y Big on I-L-Y Because I love y'all However, expectations turn into entitlement Man, didn't I hit it right on? This is my life Y'all prepared me for it Allow me to live it Expecting me to be like my older siblings or my cousins Better yet, my time is your expected time Oh hell no I love y'all though But on bro I'm me not we. I love y'all though. So, it's short and simple, y'all. It's pretty much, I love my family, but I'm me no matter where I go, who I'm talking to. It's just, be you. Don't be fake. My family tends to be fake, you know? I don't like that. So I like to be true to you.
Yeah. 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 Yeah
into the action. Ah, okay, okay. Um, I know what she's talking about. Okay. Uh, after the grow part and speak, right, if I'm being who I am, that'll be me. Um, I will speak. I'm disrupted from birth. My existence inter interrupts the status quo. False narratives don't live long around me. Sometimes that leaves me lonely, but I'll never part from integrity. I use it to rewrite my family story, no longer in secret, but transparency. No needless yielding, but power building. Love in action and correction. I was born to be who we need. That's family. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Mo. You know the question? That felt good. No? All right, so I'll give a round of applause. Mo. Yeah. 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 All right, everybody, put your hands together for Lil Miss Fire. Lil Miss Fire.
hair juice and pinky finger as I sip my cup. <laughs> what? Did you use my echo? Did you have to listen? Pear <laughs> <laughs> juice and pinky finger and I sip my cup Bitch don't wonder what's in my cup Yo sister Yeah I think that girl love me Yo baby mama Yeah She already fucked me Oh. Your grandmama. Please don't. Save Brady, please. Yeah, she already sucked me. Yeah, oh, yeah. damn. <laughs> Sticking and moving, now they got the family reunion choosing. <laughs> 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 Who shot the sheriff? I hope it wasn't your mama. I heard that bitch was crazy. She be starting that drama. <laughs> Yo, auntie, show her titties on the porch. <laughs> she always ready to fight. <laughs> on the slap, the booty and told her good night. That's that's my. <laughs> <laughs>
Not raise your sweat. Okay. Sassy one. But nowadays we got Harry Hill Street thugs, thieves, and sassy mouth hood rats. Not raised with respect for close family like that. Mm. That back in the day, guiding you for life, life's journey the right way. And if you have seeds of your own, teach them to love and respect family because bloodlines do run deep. So what was instilled in me, I definitely passed on to my seed. We are family. Tonight I got my daughter with me. Yeah. Yeah. Any questions? So I assume so both y'all got doors. Okay. Y'all give a round of applause. Sixty-five. All right, everybody. Put your hands together for <coughs> Suave Sensual. Suave. Come on, girl. Yeah. Where she is? She probably upstairs. She feels upstairs. She feels upstairs. I said she. You know she be practicing. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, y'all. All right, y'all. What, what are you waiting on, Suave? We got another great performer coming to the show. I want y'all to put y'all hands together for one of my main mans. Co-host with the gold shoes. Go pants. Right, go, I go, need you. Go. <laughs> put your hands together for Dear Anthony, y'all. Give it up for him. Dear Anthony. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm just trying to leave me. My heart fucked. Yeah, he wrote a song. My heart fucked. All right, I got a little song. I got a little song, y'all. This what came, all right? Shout out to my mother. Shout out to my blood brothers and brothers who not. Shout out to my sister. Shout out to my twins. Shout out to my nephews. Shout out to my father. Shout out to my uncles. Shout out to my aunties. Shout out to my favorite auntie. Shout out to my brothers who I don't speak to often. Shout out to the farmers and fruit handlers. I love you like family. I got best friends. I fan more than kin. Dope, I got someone to reach. Till this day, I hold the highest to my mother. I witness her kindness, even when no reciprocation was provided from family. My mother kept a dog who was left with her by a family member. She never liked cleaning up poop, but she got used to it since she fell in love. She made it through some heartbreaks. I started doing art with other people's mistakes. When the glass breaks, make something pretty. Mm -hmm. Blue light. Blue light. Blue light. Yeah. yeah. So I say, she fell in love since she got used to it. She made it through some heartbreaks. I started doing art with other people's mistakes. When the glass breaks, make something pretty. All the stars don't erase from making something pretty. Ugly if it's envy in the family circle. Mama can even hold a grudge. Shout out to my granny who stayed getting the garment she was fixing and putting cow prints on jeans and Rosalind before I seen it in a magazine or MTV, BET. Family is our first network. And that's my piece. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Any questions? See, sure too. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Can you say about your piece? Uh, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, family, family. Like I say, God gives us two. Give us, give us balance. Like if you ain't got the, the, if you don't get what you expect from family members, you fortunately, you hopefully you have some friends, and that's the balance. And then what you don't find outside of you, hopefully you find it in yourself. You know what I'm saying, or what you expect from family members, or whatever you expect from friends. So, so it's cool. Yeah. And then stuff like this, I feel like this keep us in touch. You know what I'm saying, with with awareness or whatever, where we are with ourselves, our family, and how we feel about things anyway. So it's just cool. It's cool exercise. Yeah. So thank y'all. Yeah. 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 All right, easy. Get two bits. All right. All right. Hey, Joe. Oh. You ready, fam? Me? Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright everybody, put your hands together for Cursive Storms. Cursive Storms.
want y'all to forgive me. Everybody else is so wonderful. I just do this together. Uh, I call this family feud yeah. because of uh, the things that need to be said, okay? Dear Mama, I don't have a magic wand. You passed away before we even had a bond. So I hope your spiritual ears are listening. The drugs you were on were not prescription. Hmm. Dear Father, you couldn't be further from fair if honesty, honestly was on the other side of Jupiter. Them excuses to show you care just keep getting stupider. Hmm. Dear sister, our bond is about as strong as a bird's whisper. I'm tired of coming to your defense against these woman beaters you borrow from other day dealers. I'm going to fuck around and meet them as soon as they come through the door like a Walmart reel. Hmm. Dear brother, you passed away in 2020. I've been fucked up every day because I can't hear you to ask me to borrow a 10 or a 20. Mm. My other brother is definitely a bitch nigga with big things. Bro, let that fake love rest. He wouldn't give a fuck if I passed a fail like an old car during the emissions test. Mm. People who have dissatisfied taste with themselves will try to bring up your past. Well, since you and my past are already behind me, how about you just kiss my entire ass? Mm. Like I've been like <laughs> who have dissatisfied taste with themselves will bring up your past. Well, since you and my past are already behind me, how about you just kiss my entire ass? <laughs> I've been cheated on. I've been cheated by family in the race. I've been lied on by family to my face. They've talked about the clothes that I wear. They've talked about my place. They've laughed at my car after receiving the free ride. They've talked about my home after living with me for free several times. Mm. My name stayed in my family's mouth like a leather couch in a nigga's house. They've laughed at my car after receiving the free ride. They've talked about my home after living with me for free several times. Mm. My name stays Ooh, in my family's mouth like a leather couch in a nigga's house. Yeah. My soul has been damaged, and speaking the truth is the only thing that can patch it. I feel like I have to hit the ratchet with the ratchet and keep the tools under the jacket like a nigga inspecting at it. <laughs> <laughs> My name stays on my family's mouth like a leather couch in a nigga house. <laughs> my soul has been damaged and speaking the truth is the only thing that can patch it. I feel like I have to hit the ratchet with the ratchet and keep the tools under the jacket like a nigga inspect the gadget. Yeah. <laughs> what part of this memo, what yeah. part of this memo you ain't get? Family reunions must be constipated because family ate shit. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that was it? Yeah. Oh, I thought we got some questions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How long have you been doing for it? Uh, just started this year. It's fucking good. Like, you ain't even 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 like, yeah, that was dope. Yeah, that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all, and then look, and look, he was about to do something. He, was, he, he wrote already. That was under pressure. He just wrote that real quick right there. So that was dope, bro. That was hard. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
limitations with family and or boundaries, whatever the case, um, what conditions and what's unconditional uh, and all these things. So I feel like if you are managing your expectations properly with your family members and, um, and of course yourself, then that's what can give, like make this a beautiful ride with family. You know what I'm saying? It make this, it make this uh, the support group, the whole unit, the vehicle work much better. You know, the team, the team aspect. And um, that's that's all I really had to, had to say on that. Hey, this mic. I feel like maybe even accepting what is. You know, even as you're learning yourself, you're kind of learning your family as you get older, and having less expectations is a healthier lifestyle. Yeah. Like, uh, it'll put more focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? But after a while, you start to realize, like, okay, this is how my auntie is, this is how they rock and this is how my cousins is, but I can't expect more out of them than who they are. So I'd rather have less of that than to even stress my mind and worry about what I'm gonna do to do. It is what it is. Hold on, I've got some people on this side. Oh, okay. oh everybody. Oh. <laughs> oh. So I was gonna say, um, kind of like the family and expectations kind of went together because I feel like you expect your, I'll say for me, like I expect parents to be a certain way and when they're not that, it's kind of like, well, what's the point? Like, I mean, you know, and so I think that also sometimes with expectations, it's a process to learning to kind of coping with the expectations that you want to, I guess, place on people and then being okay if they're not that. But I think my biggest beef has always been with God because I hold God to this high standard. And when I look at my life, I'm like, my poem was so angry, that's why I didn't want to read it, because I was like, what the fuck were you thinking when you thought of my life? So my expectation of God is here, but then when I look at my family dynamic, it's like, you know, and so a lot of the times I've had to build my family, like you were saying, with friendship, um, create family out of who I have. Um, but sometimes my expectations were like, well, why couldn't have been this way? But learning and, and creating a journey to say, okay, you know what, well, this is what it is, um, and this is what I'm going to work with and, and build from that. So I was just going to say, like, it's just a journey, and it's something to learn to do, and it's not easy. And that's my piece about that. Yeah. Hello. Oh, you got to go. Um, so when it comes to expectations for me personally, it's zero expectations out of anybody. It was an early lesson for me. Um, so usually when it comes to like people thinking that they hold a certain place in my life, I'm just like get in line because the first two people for me are my parents. So like coming from being one of those girls who's like no dad, no presence there, um, I just felt like anybody else coming behind that, especially a man, I'm just like get in line about it because you don't come before that. Like the expectation has already been set with him. So like I just went through life feeling like there's zero expectation, which means zero disappointment. That's one thing. Piggybacking off of the parents and them learning. Like I feel like myself in life right now. And understanding that as long as I'm alive, I'm gone. So my mom is still learning, whether she's 60 or not. You never saw learning as long as you're alive. So having this expectation of my mom is like it's not fair. Because she's still figuring out. That's another thing. Um, I feel like all of us have had something more on the negative end to say about family um, versus the positive. And it, it's like that thing of family being like, keep it between the family. And it's like because you don't want to be embarrassed by the way you act. Like why is that the thing versus just telling the truth to people and having people understand that we're all going through that versus keeping it secret. It's just weird. So when it comes to expectation, I think you're better off with zero versus expecting people to be a certain way. Mm -hmm. Daughter, 
even though I had like those, that level of expectations, so I had to like come to realize who they actually were in my life and reduce what I expected from them. Uh, which meant accepting the fact that I have no father. So I can't put you in a role unless you put yourself there. Um, and on the flip side, I had to learn to, like you said, give my mom like grace and realize like that she, I learned to love, uh, to understand the woman in her, which I got from Yama. I love you some Yama, but anyway. Right, like to come to know the woman in her, and it's like the way that you were not there for me when I needed you to be. Like as a woman, she was going through stuff, like depression and things like that. And it's like I wouldn't, I didn't come to understand that until I became an adult and started going through things like that for myself. So it just teach me to manage my expectations for other people versus I had a whole lot growing up. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At what age, oh, real quick, what, at what age were you when you realized you was like, uh, I can't, uh, you know, get put you in a position unless you put yourself in a position, that far position, but uncles, at like, what age were you when you realized that? Can you repeat that question because I couldn't really hear the, the age. The age, I was wondering what age was she when she realized that she couldn't put her uncles in the father position unless they assumed it. You know what I mean? A like, child. What, what age? A child. Like, like, like I'm saying, uh, like what no, age? I was, was probably uh, in my early 20s right. when I came to realize that. And I had an instance uh, when when I was getting married, I asked one of my uncles to walk me down the aisle and he basically deferred me to my grandfather. And that hurt me because I'm like, I asked you, not him. But there was other type of expectations there, but I had to realize, like, again, like, you have your own daughters. I am not one of them. As much as that hurts, I'm not one of your daughters. Mm. And that, I was 26 when that happened. Mm. So, Damn. yeah, this was early to mid-20s when I came to that realization. Uh, I was wondering, I was like, that, what age were you like? I was thinking maybe as a, like, was you thinking like that as a little girl? No. <laughs> I was not. Yeah, what's up, see? No, I just want to commend you guys for expressing your rendition of what family is. I mean, I think it's a major phrase, but it's so in-depth, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And speaking from, I mean, I just think that as it relates to your blood, you have family, but as you grow, you start to make your own family with your friends mm -hmm. and people that's going to probably be with you for the rest of your life. They're going to be with you for all the things that you go through when you grow through. And that's your family. You know what I mean? But in addition to that, I always describe my childhood as being around young men and we all was just me and without fathers, so whoever had the best idea that day was the daddy. Oh, for real. <laughs> and that's what it's like. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> whoever had the best idea that supported everybody's goal was the daddy. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I think you guys, man, y'all hit it home with some of the stuff that I've heard that was just like, it touched parts that you didn't even know that was there listening to you guys and it was just crazy so I just wanted to commend you guys on sharing that and it just really awoken parts of me that I didn't even know was there so thank you guys yeah I did, I did have a question so hearing what you said when you guys like whoever was daddy that day um like so what were the expectations did you guys have expectations or was it just you know what I'm saying? Can you just repeat the question? We I'm, I'm wondering, well, what he said about whoever had the, the best idea with the daddy that day, like, what what were your expectations like, or did you guys just run with it? You know what I'm saying? What was going on? What was the feeling? I mean, in my world, we was just about making money. You see what I'm saying? So, whoever came up with the best hustle idea, you know what I mean? I'm not saying that that's prevalent in most black communities, but as it relates to education, as it relates to how we was going to live that day, and how we was going to get to the next day, whoever came up with the best idea was the daddy that day. You know what I mean? That's what we respected that day. Nobody, the person that held the sword at the end of the day was the person that came up with the best ideas that year, and further on, you know what I mean? And that's just the way it was. Whoever had the best survival instincts created the most money for the group. And that's just what it was. You know what I mean? Boom. Yeah. And I'm gonna say it's probably expectations. You, you all done, bro? 
we good. Oh, okay. As far as expectations go, uh, I don't know. You know, you go to restaurants, you have high expectations. Based off reviews. Y'all read reviews in here? Yeah. No? Yeah. Man, I didn't know I didn't know how much I read reviews until people start reading my reviews. I'm crazy. Dude. <laughs> For a reference, like, I like it like, on a restaurant. You don't like, you don't like reading, you don't like reading yeah, but you know, of course, it's, you, it's, you, you can feel more secure when somebody that told you about the spot, you know. True. I mean, I'm trying to think, man, other expectations you got. Of course, you got your sexual expectations. I'm necessary. Right. Somebody got you all wild up. Look, look, look. You said, what? You know, that ain't right. Like, what? You said, what? You said, You said, what? You said, what? You said, You said, what? You said, what? You said, So if you've been to a restaurant before and the food was great and then you like, oh, I'm going to my friends. the same people ain't cooking all the time. How can I? Because you've been there before. You had dark chocolate and then you go to buy another uh, bar that's dark chocolate. I processed it. Oh, kitchen. I don't know shit. I'm just saying when it's the same thing. What he's saying about the restaurant. You already advertised it a certain way. Right. So of course, you I'm going to have That's why you're there. Naturally. Exactly. I'm going right. to have an expectation. Just like he said, you intrigued me for a reason. I so feel like, like now, me. my mind is already naturally going towards, could it be this good? Is it really what they say it is? And it might not even be you. So-and-so could have spoke on your name. You see what I'm saying? How you move, how you talk. But it's got me thinking, it's the expectation that they're saying. Is it up there? You know what I'm saying? It's a natural, and I, I feel where you're coming from. That's why I said it's, that's something that you have to learn within yourself or who you're dealing with. Yeah, how, what you're going to do with your expectations. Right. You see what I'm saying? And so, I don't want to expect nothing out of this. Right. He's, he done said five different things already and he showed me nothing. But this one, look, it's kind of matching up to what I heard, what I seen. I, I, I but this is why she's saying, this is why she's saying that you shouldn't have. Yeah, this is no. why she's saying you should have had expectations. So you should have. So you saying you should have had expectations so you don't get upset about a situation. I don't want to be disappointed at all. If it's oh, disappointment, man. if it's disappointment or there's failure or there's, and it should be on me solely. Like I don't want to have an expectation mm. of another person. How can I? You can have a shitty day today, and I, I'm meeting you. To, this is your first impression, and I'm just like, damn, you dropped the ball. Like because you're having a bad. So I don't want to have an expectation. I want you to just. I just want it to be organic. Now, now, what so, if what when you, relationship so, so, comes responsibility? Uh, it does. But and responsibility has to be expectations. But in a relationship, and everybody right. looking for a certain person, and he, everybody looking for something different. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So your expectations yeah. might not be hers. You know what I'm saying? Right. Work your relationship, but not work with this relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's like so. Okay. So it's like we kind of talk about yeah. things. Right. You kind of, I feel like, base expectations based off of things that you may have witnessed in the past that you didn't like, and compared to things that you did like. That's not fair. It's not fair. I don't know about that. Nobody has a perfect script. That's accurate. That's fine. So, what you said about the expectations. You're going to be let down. The worst. Yes. You're going to let people down. It, so do y'all expect y'all man to cheat? All right, look, yeah. ladies. Do you, you expect no effort? Time out, time out, hold on. Time out. Come on, come on. 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 Man, you know, I'm gonna turn into a tire right well, now. Well, I've been telling you how to go there. Because <laughs> <laughs> y'all know me, well, I was with a fool. We was out there talking about a whole nother. Hey, good thing, good thing, relevant here. Y'all talking some black men, uh, black men, cheap. I watched that on TV the other day. Black man, no cheat. Black man, no cheat. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get back to this. Uh, 
into this uh, performance is really got to myself and it's why I pay. Unless we miss somebody. Amari. Who? No? Uh oh, she, she, like she said she did not say that. I want to get an example. Like I said, it's not love. That's why I broke it. I want it. Yeah. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna open it up? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Introduce us to the club. All right, everybody. Put your hands together for Kamari. Kamari. strongest emotion. I got memories. All I have is fucking memories. This shit isn't fair. I can't front. I am grateful for who is here in this hair. <laughs> um, I'm grateful for the wisdom that raised me in spite of. I'm blessed to learn that family is who I choose. I'm working to be better because I'm always willing. And then that's all I work for. <laughs> Too no, was it wasn't, but I think I think the emotion I felt oh, I was, was yeah. angry. Um, so I lost my mom when I was 10, mm -hmm. and at the same time my dad was in prison. Um, and then I was raised by my mother's parents, my grandmother and grandfather. And then by the time I turned 18, they died. Well, 18, my grandfather died. Damn. And then by the time I was 20, my grandmother died. So. The topic last week about friendship was really important to me because my friends taught me everything. I learned how to do laundry from my cousins. <laughs> I learned how to wash dishes from my best friend um, because not having a mother, a lot of those maternal things you lose. Um, and a lot of the times, like I, like I got my first apartment at 18 and just had to raise myself. And so um, a lot of that I spent a lot of time angry at God. Uh, more so, not just because of how it was, but more so just like, well, why did you put me here if you want to take me? Like, you know? Um, so, that's why. But yeah, that's it. Understood. All right, well, thanks for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and let me see. What's the swap in? What's the swap in? She loves All right, what's your going to come back? Everybody, put your hands together for Suave. Family. Yeah. Family. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I'm a gangster. That's from my mama's side, even though my daddy crazy. Please don't make me turn into my daddy, baby, because I'm still a lady. I want to start a family. I need a real companion. <laughs> I want a man with a, I need a man with a, I want a man with a plan, nigga. I need a real damn man with me. <laughs> Look like it, girl. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> damn. I'm a gangster. That's why my mama even know my daddy crazy. Please don't make me turn to my daddy, baby. Because I'm still a lady. Yeah. I want to start a family. I need a real companion. I want a man with a, I need a man with a, I need a man with a plan, nigga. I need a real damn man with me. How are your relations with your moms? How do you treat it? You got bill? Did she hit you with a belt or was she a speaker? Did she speak up? Because I want to meet her. I know black parents be messy. She don't talk shit when I leave her. But I need you to let her know I'm a keeper. Yeah. Profit. Right. <laughs> Money. <laughs> How your relations with your mom? How you treat her? You got to be up? Did she hit you with the belt? Or was she a speaker? Did she speak up? Because mm. I want to meet her. I know black parents be messy. She going to talk shit when I leave her. Mm. But I need you to know. Let her know I'm a keeper. Mm. Yeah. Trust. Yeah. Was she kind hearted or was she evil? Because I want to know why. I need to know why you get even. Hurt people. Hurt people. Even though that hurt is beneath you. I need you to know, I need you to know that she see through. Mm. You and me will always be tied. Family every single day and night. Even when I start to act like a fool. You know what I mean? You. <laughs> I know I will always be myself. Around you more than anybody else. Every day when I'm heading out to school. You know there's no one I love as much as you. Ooh. Don't turn me into my aunt on my dad's side. It get wild, nigga. I spaz. Straight up. I'm real bougie, but I lose all my class on you. Mm. Damn. I'll show you. Like, like, goddamn. She be stopping. Don't turn me to my aunt on my dad's side. It get wild. I spaz. Yeah. Real bougie. But I lose my damn class on you. Mm. I show my damn ass a two ass cheeks. I don't break up happy homes. But you wasn't happy. Family. Family.
Last performer, y'all. All right, y'all, put y'all hands together. For our one, two co hosts over here. Host with the most. The man with the magic hands. Y'all put your hands together for Joe Vaughn! Joe Vaughn! Everybody want to come in the clothes, that's a swap ass. I'm going to warm up my focus real quick. Okay. The mic down just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Say what? Just the mic down. There we go. Let's go. Perfect. Oh, man. I hope I can read this like I wrote this shit. I think you, I think I got you. Let me see, let me see. Some of this, some of this, some of this real, some of this is fake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, here we go. She told me to save my drama for my baby mama. But she thought it was going to be her. But she tried to miss that pill, pillow talking, willing to walk that line, talking to herself about starting a family without me, without consulting me. But my pull-out came. Oh, my dear pull-out game. <laughs> so catty tight. Passed down from generations of men that kept their eyes on the prize. Family, family full of entrepreneurships. Family's the only thing that you had to dive into, but you're supposed to have 18 years to get used to the temperature of the water. Ken Williams said, 13 years, 13 years was no time for him to figure out another way to get out. Family's the only thing that you had to ride into the waves with. Surfing the flow until you can generate more to change your change your generations in the future. My bloodline is me positive. Oh, the negative in my family never saved nobody. They just hinder bodies pacifying the mind. And equal to and better than nobody, or better than most, we don't talk about it. We just show and prove it. We got you either first or last on the list. We there before you fall all the way. I see these people at family unions, funerals, family spread all over the place. I just try to remember everybody's name, but I do remember everybody's face. That's mm. all yeah. I am supposed to go see That was it. dope. I ain't going to close that bad shit. Let's see how that goes. Because I'm right. Because she was up there with the pranks and nursing and shit. Right. We heard y'all down here nursing. Yeah.